what is going on people welcome back to another video on aj5 and in today's video guys we do have another update on gmt green metaverse token which has pumped up about 20 percent in the last 24 hours currently trading at just about 61 cents so we're going to be going through where is it heading to next guys is it going to keep pumping is it going to drop back down in value and what is the best thing to do right now is it to invest into it or is it too late should you sell it if you're on a profit or should you just hold on to it before it goes even higher than what it's worth at the moment so we're going to cover both buyers and sellers point of view and essentially look at its prediction over the next couple of hours days weeks months and overall in 2023 can it hit the $10 mark by the end of the year? Well, again, we still got a good 11 months left for the end of the year. So can it potentially hit that target and covering its overall prediction? But before I get into all of that stuff, guys, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to go down and smash that subscribe button as well as like the video as I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And if you guys can help me hit that target, I will be doing a cryptocurrency giveaway, which you guys can join by simply subscribing to the channel. And for a bonus entry, follow me on Instagram. Link to that will be in the description box down below. So we are currently on the coinbase website the market has just about fluctuated in the last 24 hours no major changes and we've got gmt as one of the top gainers in the last 24 hours as you can see the second top gainer and we've got it here over the last hour it has gained just about 0.1 percent nothing too major over the last day 20 percent over the week 24 percent and over the month a massive 110 percent up guys since the start of the year so first of january 2023 he's been moving more or less in a positive direction very good increases in value yes it's had its dips here and there in between but overall it has been moving quite well it was a positive side and hopefully we can maintain that for the rest of the year as well and potentially hit a new all-time high in the second half of the year so going into the coin market cap website here we can see the trading volume has also gone up by a massive 235 percent making it nearly 1 billion dollars guys so at the moment it's at 922 million dollars in trading which is a huge amount of money that is currently being traded on gmt we're seeing a lot of buyers a lot of sellers and in general just a lot of people trading the crypto right now as it has been getting a lot of attention over the last couple of days so we are going to see a lot more investors and a lot more sellers as well so let's get straight into it on the screen right now we do have the candlestick pattern chart with the macd indicator which i'm going to be using to do some price prediction as i'm pretty sure that's what most of you guys are here for so at the top here we've got the purple line running across the chart which is the sma indicator giving us the average value of gmt which at the moment is just about 41 cents here in purple however it is trading a much higher value here in red at 61 cents meaning it's performing quite well and much better than expected so let's zoom into the 30 minute chart for the short term traders and then i'll move on to the hourly daily and weekly chart for the long term investors but before i do all of that guys just a little disclaimer as usual this is no financial advice i'm not a financial advisor anything i say is from my own prediction and my take on this crypto and any gains or losses you guys make i will not be responsible for so zooming into the 30 minute chart we are not looking too good guys we've got the blue and the orange line looking quite steep heading towards a negative direction looking quite bearish meaning an overall drop in value is what is meant to take place however as i mentioned plenty of times guys because it's looking very steep heading towards a negative direction it is not realistic even though yes i'm expecting an overall drop in value over the next 12 to 14 hours so towards the end of the day today early hours of tomorrow i'm not expecting a major drop or a major crash or anything like that it is going to be very minimal potentially just about dropping below the 60 cents target is what i'm expecting over the coming 12 to 14 hours however we are likely to see a pump as well to about 70 cents over the coming three four five hours before it drops back down below the 60 cents target towards the end of the day today moving on to the hourly chart next couple of days what can we see here still not looking too great we've got the blue and the orange line still looking bearish heading towards the negative direction meaning an overall drop in value is what is expected however that's not what i'm expecting guys so over the next seven to eight days so let's say towards the end of this week i am expecting an overall increase in value from gmt over the coming week so we should be seeing it trade above the 70 cents target by the end of this week and again that does not mean that we're going to be consistently hitting green days for the next seven eight days of course not we are going to have green days when it's up red days when it's down but the overall outcome seems to slightly be more on the positive side so heading towards the 70 cents target or hitting 70 cents is what i'm expecting towards the end of this week and early uh, very early next week as well 
and again the green candles are likely to overtake the red candles meaning an overall increase now moving on to the daily chart next couple of weeks what can we see here we are looking quite bullish very positive guys we've got both the blue and the orange line they have both taken a u-turn and heading upwards to the correct direction which is the green side so yes an overall increase in value is expected over the coming weeks from gmt so let's say by mid to late march 2023 i'm expecting gmt to be trading over the one dollar mark guys and again yes hitting the one dollar mark may seem like a big deal however it's not too far off at all and we should be able to easily hit that by late march and early april we should be able to hit the dollar mark and hopefully go upwards from there however of course there's a lot of factors that affect these things like a major crypto crash or a bull run or a price pump a lot of different things guys and if there are anything that can ma majorly impact the value of not just gmt but anything in the crypto market like a major crash or anything like that i will make sure to keep you guys updated as much as i can and as soon as i can on my instagram page and on my youtube channel as well so make sure you stay subscribed and turn on the bell notifications to get notified every time i upload but yeah so far it is looking good for gmt over the long run and hopefully towards the end of the year we can possibly get closer to the ten dollar mark so let's get rid of the macd indicator and bring on the fibonacci scale as you can see we are still trading in the red zone guys and we are very close to hitting the resistance target which is the green line here at one dollar and five cents and hopefully we can hit that by mid-year is what my expectations are guys yes i said one dollar by march april but again I want it to go in the green zone and stay in the green zone rather than drop back down into the red zone so yes guys by mid year we should be comfortably trading in the green zone and in the second half of the year we should be able to break out through the dark green or the blue zone or even the top tier level here and potentially hit a new all-time high depending on how the crypto market performs if we do manage to perform like it has been over the last three weeks since the start of the year we should be good to go but yeah so far so good for gmt guys let me know your end of year predictions for green metaverse token as i'm very intrigued to see how many of you guys are bullish and how many of you guys are bearish on this crypto so comment down below what is the highest figure this crypto can hit in 2023 comment down below and on that note i'm going to end the video here guys a massive thank you to every single one of you who have been subscribing liking commenting and just supporting the channel in any way or form and especially all the subscribers out there thank you guys so much as it helps me out a lot and means a lot to me as i am trying to hit 100k by the end of the year so please guys make sure to hit that subscribe button because at the end of the day it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe so please guys make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video and i'll catch all of you guys in my next crypto update which should hopefully be later on today until then take care and peace